Matt. Is Matt here? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't Mike know if he was here. on. All right. Oh, my God. Um... Oh uh, yeah, some got some good typey. That's why Notepad is my friend. Okay. All right, there's an answer for you. <laughs> it advance the cause of ill. Thank you. Serves mechanism to punish their lesser race. Okay, good. I like that. Carl. Okay, spirits. Okay. Yes. What's the relationship to the spirits? Oh, okay. um, mm, oh, okay. I was going there. Um, That's a point of clarification. Yeah. Okay. Um, because his 
Von Kell's spirit powers these technological devices before they were just dead. Ah, okay. And so they actually, actually, they are actually now powered because of Von Kell's um, uh, his, his Von Kell's spirit. Uh, so, can you give us a sentence that, that yeah. says that? Uh, let's see. Well, this isn't really, this isn't um, just, oh, God. You just said it a second ago. Okay, well, I was just thinking of, we were talking about alternate, you know, the spirits that hang around your you, and this wasn't exactly the same thing, but I guess it could still you be. You do whatever you want to do about it. That good? Yeah, we'll probably make some adjustments on that and the other thing just to kind of clean that up to get okay. your intent through. All right, so that was uh, uh, Carl, uh, Matt. All Dark right, lights, Carl. Oh, um, that. say it's it, it reveals truth so it's okay. light all right matt all right um
All right, let's see how this works. Gonna do an event. Okay. Where is that being dropped in? In right at the first. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> where where is this? The first event in the uh, timeline. It's a little Warhammer 40k, but what are you gonna do? Okay. <laughs> where are you? Dark or light? Um, we're gonna say that is it's dark. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> and so that means humanity was it. Probably in the majority, but now is in the minority. So that that uh, or... look how much of that first, very first round I wrapped up in that one. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um. So that was Matt. It comes back to Scott. You get another shot, another bite at the apple, sir. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> and Matt. When Scott is done, you're going to add an icon. All right. Oh, what was... Interesting. I just got a, a night a Skype notification that tight dot spank ninety five wants me to add them to their contacts list. Oh yeah, yeah. You can get to that later, Scott. Okay. I think that should be your event. Now with Matt's event. Okay. Okay, never mind. Let's see here. Let's see here.
Zeus baby in there? No, I'm here. Oh, okay, I didn't know. I saw somebody drop out of the editing thing. I'm on Skype with the goobers. Okay. Sorry, my wife asked oh. if I was talking to somebody else. One more question. Yes, I think so. Okay, Matt, I didn't I didn't read the very last sentence of your event. I didn't realize okay. So you're saying the spirits are a bad thing? In the past, in a previous post, I'm just saying the I'm just saying the emperors kept them away. Oh, okay, okay. That's all I'm saying. Okay, well, and a side effect was eighty percent died. Mm -hmm. So, they, so it could have been good for the other twenty percent because they were compatible with the spirits. The eighty percent were weak. Is that like the uh, the other ni the ninety nine percent? There we it's, yeah, it was a Republican spirit, bunch of spirits coming in. They got rid of all the Democrats. Ah, you are a joy sometimes. <laughs> it's on the timeline, man. Any eyed metallic fish. Any eyed metallic fish. Her own vibrator? Her own people. All peoples, okay. Is that it, Scott, or are you going to add a question about that? Um. All right, uh, so we're going to move on to Matt. Matt, uh, go, ahead. go ahead and add uh, your icon there, to... okay? All right, and what did Scott just add? I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. He added, uh, Samira, Queen of the Merfolk, is warned by her water spirit of an ancient ship that's been revealed beneath the waves. The ship has been def is defended by strange, many eyed metallic fish and has caused many deaths among her people. She bans all people from exploring the ship, including her own. All right. Let's do this, uh... Matt, you need an icon, right? That's what he's doing. Matt is going to do an icon. I'm doing an icon. Yeah, I just had. All right. So I want to let you read that out loud, Matt, since it's horrible. All right. Icon, the surgeon penitent. This wretched creature has roamed the earth. Giving to all manner of the wretched, which that's a really shitty sentence that I would not have written if I had not been drinking whiskey. Um, the myriad of infections and afflictions, boils and bloating, parasites and symbiotes, has rendered it completely androgynous and almost inhuman to behold. Through time spent ministering le in leper colonies and Ebola zones, it has gained the ability to gather all disease and into itself and away from the sufferer. Supplicants can take on the scars and gain the ability to heal others. All right. So I'm going to do my round, and my focus is war. Round four is war. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely everything. Say it again. What? Absolutely. All right. So I'm going to go down here to the hunts begin, and I'm going to go after Kukulin uh, rises. Um, uh, actually, I'm going to go after the Council of the Thirteen Houses is convened. I'm going to put an event there. And uh, my event and question is this. is So here's my event. Malkarna of Garn, orcish war leader, uses her personal titan shark to satter the sea walls of coral scent. Her forces pour through the breach. Here's the question. What are the titan sharks? 
great beasts much larger than ships which can carry war crews on their backs or inside their gullets. They remain among the most powerful of the sea beasts, but not the largest. Fair enough? Yes. Okay, that's dark. Is the only, is the only way to defeat them to just punch them in the eye? No. Oh. All right, Fabian, it's going to be your turn now. The theme focus for this round is war. You can add an era, an event, or a question. You may be muted. Sorry, yeah, it was muted. Um, I just want to make sure. Okay, um, I will ask Carl, what event ended, or I'm sorry, can I ask a question about You can an ask era? a question about an event, not about an era. It has to be about a specific oh. event. Okay, if so I If you ask a question about an era, you probably ought to answer it yourself and, and show an event related to it. So, essentially, I could, like, the War of Successions. Oops, page, um, page up. Okay. So the War of Successions rages. Um, uh, okay. Where are you at? Here. Era. Okay. Uh, let me make sure. Sure. I'm not. Okay. So is it cheese ball to say like put an event at the end and say event? The uh, the war of succession ends, and then ask the question why. <laughs> That's not an event. You have to give us something concrete. What causes okay. the event? You have to give us something specific. What causes the the end? Is there something that occurs? You you have to give us that. Mm, okay. Well, let me go to Notepad. Oh, Fair I just erased. I just erased something in the War of Succession. Can you hit uh, Control Z? Thank you. And after Fabian goes, it'll be back to you, Carl. Well, that was a quick drop and ad. I'm not here. Oh, you aren't. Okay. This is your secret phone call? Uh, that's with with my porn, my porn call. Your porn call. 
let's go out and spank call. I like it. And we'll probably make this the, the last round. Okay. Uh, so it'll be after Fabian, it'll be Carl, and then Matt, and then you, Scott, and then I will wrap it up. And Scott, you will get to create an icon on this round, so you might be thinking about that, okay? Okay. Hello? Hey. Did Skype crash? Yeah, it did. Getting everybody yeah. back on here. Okay. Putting us into the right context. Okay, and then I will ask the question of Carl. So you don't get a question, you just put an event. You just get one thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. I add in an event uh, in under the War of Succession Rages. Okay. So Where is it? Or obviously under the dark. I, th I think we might be fighting editing wars here. Okay. Uh, Carl? Okay. Uh, underneath the uh, hunts begin. or dark? Uh, that is dark. Okay. Awesome. Matt. Is Matt on again? Yep. But he might I am on. on. I'm sorry. I have my microphone okay. on now, too. Uh, um, a war event from you, or a question. A war event. This is great. I thought the Titan was just going to be something everybody sees and go, oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah.
Now, does the question have to be for an event, or can it be for an era? Event. Only for an event. Okay. going next okay I have a question I'm gonna add for the false queen is executed okay all right so I say question let me get some formatting here um Usually I ask this question too. Um, how about uh There are five people here. Yeah. Um Well, uh, well I don't think you've asked been asked any questions. Which oh, faction okay. stood with the false queen? Okay. <laughs> I thought you didn't put the H on there yet, and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. See, Lowell's really good at spewing out like that bullshit. That's why I chose him. <laughs> Scott, you're next. <laughs> okay, let's see here. War. Once Scott is gone, I will go, and then Scott will put an icon in, and that will be it for tonight. Let's see. Actually, guys. I have to run because if I'm going to go exercise, I got to go now before the gym closes. All right, we will talk with you later then, Fabian. So, okay. This was awesome. Thanks. Thank, Thank you so much. Jim. Bye. Jim in your house. You don't have to worry about this. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, are you still pretty happy with your new house? I am. I am. Good. Uh, my my brother. I I didn't watch The Sopranos. My brother keeps comparing me to Tony Soprano, uh, <laughs> with how much joy he's like the pool. He's like you don't understand like you and your pool. You're just like Tony Soprano. <laughs> oh yeah, that's great.
And I spent my, my whole severance from my old job. I get in the backyard hooked up, so I'm like super happy with it. Oh, good. And uh, and I, I like I can just like I don't have to even be using the pool. I just every night I go out and I have a Manhattan and I stand by the pool, <laughs> and it fills me with joy. That's great. Did you actually use it that much, or? or? We had such a mild summer here. There were like very few days I got home from work and was like, oh, I gotta get in the pool. Is it um, is it is it hot now? We're actually having some of the hottest days we've had all summer right now. Uh, oh no, it's okay. Like we're getting into like the 90s, mm -hmm. like low 90s now. But we've had like we've had like mid to low 80s all summer here. It's been just like, incredibly mild. Yeah, I'll tell you, Matt. I mean, from a parenting point of view. A pool with a young child is disastrous. <laughs> <You know>. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. <laughs> well, my attitude is the back, the backyard is really nothing but pool and patio. Mm. He's got no reason to be back there without us. It, well, like, no, the, that's the right. Front I mean, yard is the play yard. We live on a cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. I have a detective that lives across the street from me. Nobody is going to be doing, uh, you know, speeding down my street or anything. And there's really oh no, cul-de-sac is great. I, I, mean, only, I live on the dead end. There's only two people past my house that have any reason to be on my street at all. <laughs> no, I was just thinking is that um, you know, I remember coming down to Linus when he was two or whatever and he's sitting in the laundry room with the you know with this the thing of tide open you no. know and he's just pouring you know it's like sand to him and i'm just like thank god he didn't need any of it no. and it looks delicious let's yeah. be honest it looks delicious and so i mean you know and elliot linus can get out the door now which you know they can swim relatively well so i mean okay uh you are deleting his entire thing aren't you oh no you're not yeah, I think that's the way of saying it sucked. Let's get rid of it. Get the out. Hippo. No, he was uh, uh, he copied and pasted as a model. Yes, I my brain now works. Okay, that's fair enough. Now, so I've pissed in the clear the clerics Cheerios. <laughs> it looks like uh. there's quite a bit of that. <laughs> Well, I mean, this thing is going to be lots of different stuff, and we still we haven't even addressed who the new gods are. You know. Yeah, I know. I was I was looking at this. I'd like to. I wanted to kind of start. There's, there's all kinds of stuff. Well, there's 26 god, or there's well, no, I can't say that. We but don't know how many gods. No, are. there's there's new holy orders. So. Here's the thing: is that the the new gods arose and cast down the old gods. So there's new gods up in the heavens. Right, but there's like. 13 old orders. There's 13 houses. That, well, no, not necessarily. There's, there's, there's not, well, so it might be... Not necessarily holy, 13 holy orders. Right. The new holy orders. Yeah. We don't know all of them survive. I mean... 13 noble houses, not necessarily only 13 noble orders. There could... Right, 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 right.
There we go. Okay. So I'm going to put an event, and then I'm going to ask a question about that event, and Carl's going to answer that question. So the event is up here under the Hunts Begin, and it is the Dwarves of Yan Kanig. Seize control of the mammoth sea turtle bearing the vital green lotus farms of the Shenthen Consortium. The daring raid turns the tide of the war in the dwarves' favor. So, Carl, my question for you is, why is Green Lotus so vital to the consortium? The dwarves seize control of the mammoth sea turtle bearing the Imagine, vital... Imagine a farm-sized... Yeah. Right, no, I know what you're saying. I, I, a I, huge I, turtle. Yeah. That's, I picture those moving around there. I see it as many farms. Yeah. Okay, so Seattle bearing the vital Green Lotus Farms of... Oh, you got farms in there. of the Shintum Consortium, this daring rain turns the tide of the war in the Doors Fader. Why is the Green Lotus so vital? The Consortium, the Consortium... Tradesman Consortium favored the False Queen. And... They favor the False Queen. And the False Queen protects... The spirits with that. See. Scott, in a second, you're going to have to make up an icon. Let's see, where are we? Okay. Stay neutral. The green, uh, green lotus fruit allows the imbiber to directly control its uh, control and magnify. Power of his co existing spirit. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Okay. Scott, can you take us home with a final icon? Oh, I could try. This is it. It's pretty fried right now. I know, that's why I'm asking you to do it last, and you're going to wrap us up here. It's going to be awesome. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm going to think of one first. Well, so far the icons are really sweet. They're really... Well, I, well, I guess the, the, the I guess the crow's horn pirate. That's, well, you the, know, sword, the, 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 the sword, the surgeon pennant is actually, mm -hmm. he's a positive figure. Oh, that's true. It just, that's right. He's, he, he's more look... He looks disgusting. Right. Yeah, that's true. He is about false false appearances um, in the sense of, of uh, generosity and being willing to overlook those kinds of things mm -hmm. and sacrifice. I dug down deep for that one, Carl. Yeah, that oh, I'm happy. I like this. <laughs> I like it. I, I'm so far, this is... This is Let's get this, like, this game is great. <laughs> this is a it's, great game. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I tell, when I was reading the fleet, I mean, because I didn't even know you were doing this when you did the Lost Fleet, and just the, uh, just the name, the Lost Fleet, I was like, oh, that's cool. I, I like that word. I don't know what's going on in there, but that sounds cool. Yeah, that and actually being a, and that one ended up being a two-year campaign, even though, a two and a half-year campaign, even though I said it was just going to be a year. Well, I think because we were talking, I was talking to Scott about that. He was telling me about some of the, the stuff or anything like that. And I was like, "Yeah, if you know, you get uh, this is a great way to go." Okay, you know, one, get invested in, in the world, and two, you know, if you don't, then you know, we'll just let's we'll kill it real quick. Yeah. We did, by the way. This is this uh, bookend thing that I set up here. I gave the exact same bookends, and we got a completely different thing from another group. Oh, you'll have to and, you'll and, have to show us yeah, that. <laughs> and they did it. They did it. It was a one year span. They did it essentially a year. Essentially, the, the empress dies, and then a year passes, and the hunts begin. And in that game, 
they came up with the idea that all magic items are intelligent and uh, sometimes uh, uh, the magic items are smarter than people so uh, they kind of take over people and that ended up leading them doing that that was sort of the campaign premise is everybody had a magic item and they kind of had to decide whether they were running the characters holding the item or the actually they they were running the <laughs> item oh I like that so okay we have no idea what the hunts are we have no idea. We have very little idea about what the ROM is. We but don't know nothing I, about the new gods. Well, we know what the ROM are. We know the ROM that's are true, that's wandering. True, that's true. That's true. Here is the we, new gods, we have no clue. But, well, that's actually that's an open one that will be very interesting. And maybe, because it isn't in the history yet, maybe we don't know who the new gods are. Oh, I think that's, I think that's great. Yeah. Um, so one of the things I will do is I will do some annotations on it. Uh, I think what, what, maybe what Scott was kind of hinting at that I think is interesting is the idea that if the hunt might be the hunt for finding a cure or something to you know heal the titan oh okay oh see that's a completely i was thinking the hunt was well the hunt was uh was uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing yeah, yeah. yeah. but it is dark mm. well it's dark because of all this awful shit that happens during that time what do i want as a knight So do you want me to read you the names of the icons from 13th Age, Scott? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. The Archmage, the Crusader, the Diabolist, the Dwarf King, the Elf Queen, the Emperor, the Great Gold Worm, which is the Great Gold Dragon, the High Druid, uh. the Lich King, the Orc Lord, the Priestess, the Prince of Shadows, the Three, which is a band of dragons, and that's that's them. Mostly, you have to think of the uh, what they're a patron of, basically. That's mm -hmm. where I'm. struggling right now the spirit the spirit king is what i want as the icon but i'm trying to think oh okay good mm -hmm. i like that so it's it's somebody Maybe, I mean, you can imagine it is an ageless person or a hereditary title. Someone who, what do they do with spirits? What's their connection to them? What, what, what gives them power that makes them important? Well, originally the, the idea was that he sort of is the one that doles out the spirits or... That are that are bonded to. That's, That's good. More of, a, more of a god figure, though, I would say. Yeah. In that, Is it, it ought to be somebody sort of in the world itself. Say that, say that again. So what you're describing is like a divine figure, right? A god? I mean more of a an earthly figure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Sander, do you want do you want, I mean, do we give some suggestions? Yeah, we're getting towards the end here, and Scott's a little fried. So if you want okay. to throw something, Scott, in. Uh, how about he has something to do 
with the lot the green lotus that uh, you know he's like on the the uh, the mammoth turtle and he's one of the reasons why the green lotus um, you know he I don't know he that that, that the green lotus has power or something like that. Um, did, a, is, uh, maybe like a uh, he is the figure that uh, you know of the the teacher who shows people how to work with their spirits. Okay, I like that. Um, let's see. Yeah. And what I'll do in my annotations is talk about sort of what what these things uh, 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 mean, what they represent. That looks good, Scott. All right, thanks. Thank you guys very much. I will do a writing up on this and, and some notes on these things. I'll do some annotations. Uh, I don't know if it'll get to tomorrow, uh, but uh, uh, by Friday at the latest. And, uh, you know, what I'll try and do is in the email thread, we'll have people kind of pick out what they want to run uh, and stuff. And if you want to ask questions about that, does that sound good? Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Do you well, want um? Do you want Fabian to put together a? Uh, I mean, at some point to put together an, uh, one one more icon, or do you care? No, I don't care. I'll I'll take care of everything else. Okay. Yeah. That'll give me a chance to to look at it and get everything set. Um. Okay. So that's it. Uh. Thank you guys um, very you guys, much. Yes. If you guys want All to right. stay, I have a, I have a non-game thing to oh, ask. Oh sure. Okay. I'll see uh, you, Scott. Just, let me let me turn off the recording, Carl.